Greetings, citizens, and welcome to the Hangar of Bud. This is the tail end of his retaliator. Excuse the darkness. Somebody forgot to pay the electricity bill. Yeah, as you can tell, um, we're on a PTU patch. And with every little patch, of course, something, some things get fixed, some things get broken. I mean, this, the hangers each have their little koi balls. I mean, it's an issue with lighting on most of the hangers, especially the self-land and the air review in this patch. I mean, this is a, the self-land. And you can definitely tell that um, it's a little bit dark, isn't it? It's very eerie and creepy. I mean, all of the hangers have got um, a lot more ambient sound while you're just standing around, which is really cool. And This hangar, because of how um, it, how dark it's looking, I can definitely see it as being um, like a scene out of like the um, Alien Alien game. Um, I can just you can just see yourself getting jumped by an alien, right? But as far as the, the hangars are concerned, there's not really anything new here. I mean, as I said, the lighting's a bit bugged on them. Um, I'm gonna just jump out here and jump into a different hangar. It's actually got a bit more lighting, so we can actually show you some of the stuff that's been um, changed and fixed and put in here. I will be back. Hello, okay, so we're back to the Revel in York hangar, which is um, a little appropriately. Um, so yeah, so before I go through, I'm gonna go through all of the patch notes, but I'm gonna mention some of the, the big things in the actual patch notes to, um, are really cool or really stand out to moi. Um, but for that, just a couple of things that I undocumented I kind of noticed, like here, on all of the hangers, um, the hollow table has been moved. So basically before the hollow table was here on, and this the sim pod was over this side, what I've done in each of the hangers, they've put the hollow um, the hollow table at the back of like towards the hanger facing the, facing the wall somewhere rather than actually up front. So. Um, normally when you pop the hollow table open, it normally has a bit of a, a kill on resources. It uses resources quite a bit. Um, so I guess it may be facing the wall, it's, it's so that it's actually using less resources when you hit it. Um, that would definitely make sense. Um, as far as Battle Royale and Squadron Battle mode have had their um, numbers raised from 8 to 16. So you can have 16 player Battle Royale and Squadron Battle. The other game modes they said are going to be coming um, a little bit later. As far as the dogfighting in those modes, they've added a respawn panel in now. Um, so, so basically, if um, if someone actually um, respawns or self-destructs while their health is above eighty-five percent, they have a twenty-second panel. In. Um, I mean, we've all probably seen it. You get people with like CS missiles, and they unload all of their missiles, and they they eject to get more missiles back, or people that um eject just before they you know before they get killed to save giving people a kill those sort of people will now be punished um we've got a whole new um matchmaking system and lobby system in, in place which is kind of i've not had too much time to test it yet because i've not had not had much luck getting into any multiplayer games so far um the vandal scythe is hanger and combat ready although a couple of people i know that do have vandals um, Vandal Scythe can, can't actually see them in their hangar or on the website or in, you know they're not available in game so maybe that's a little bit broken still I mean forum posts have actually seen people saying the same um, the Merlin is also hangar hang on combat ready um, but unfortunately though I can't put one in my hangar to have a walk around inside the hangar because um, I've got a loner I've got a Phoenix which comes with an, the um, P72 Archimedes and only people that have the Constellation Andromeda will have the Merlin in their actual hangar. Everybody else, um, they don't spawn you. I think this is a bug they're hoping to have fixed by the time this patch goes live. Um, but at the moment, the loners, because it's a loner, it doesn't actually spawn in the hangar. Only people with the Andromeda and people that actually buy one of the Merlins for $20 from the store when it drops, when the patch is live, um, will be able to see that. If they don't fix that, then when the patch does go live, I'll, you know, we'll do an update video with properly looking around the Merlin, um, because I definitely will be picking one up for 20 bucks. Um, main reason being is I've got an Archimedes in the Phoenix, which is a higher class version of the, the vessel, and because it's only $20, I'll definitely pick one up just to have one of each. And um, depending on how they set them out and what, if there's any requirements to own in ships for them to dock with and stuff, um, I may pick up a couple just to do for giveaways in the future. Um, 
Um, I was wandering down here to go to the beta because they fixed the internals of the beta. I was going to show you that as I was going over some of these notes. Um, so let's let's have a look. Let's just jump right in. Um, you might also have noticed um, the sounds, the ambient sound in the background is a lot better now. Um, that's the same in all hangers. It's got ambient sounds in the back. Um, I mean, like a couple of patches ago, they kind of broke the beta a bit so that you come in here and you couldn't um, get in the bed or the toilet. I'm happy to say you can now um, sit in the bathroom and space dump again and get on both of the beds, um, which you've not been able to do for a while. So you can actually jump in there. You can lay down on you can lay down on this bed here. You can lay down on the one at the back, um, which is something you haven't been able to do for a while. Um, It doesn't look very comfortable there. Um, it definitely doesn't look very comfortable. But like an example, you can you can now open these things back up. So as you can see, if we push right forward, you can open up a little hatch at the back. You can open up that little hatch there, and you can pull this back to get on the bed and just you know just look at those look at those big thighs. Hello, ladies. Right. Hello, ladies. I mean, the patch notes actually says that they've transitioned to the new um, audio system, which is probably one of the reasons why we have a um, whole new sound in here, which is really good. I really like, um, I definitely really like the new sounds. Um, a lot of the actual, some of the ships had broken hands on the um, actual, actual controls. Um, these are actually fixed now on the ships. Um, they're not fixed in the Grey Cat. On the Grey Cat, you actually had the hand wasn't, wasn't on the actual rails. Um, properly, they're still a bit buggy. Um, in fact, the buggy, the grey cat buggy, is actually a bit worse now. <laughs> You've got some, we got some um, new models or animations. If you look here, and you don't have your little um, divers or swimming cap as your when you're in the hangar, um, which is cool. Um, you actually see your your body head. Yeah, so before, when you actually got into the buggy, your hands were broken on the um, handle. I mean, you can see there is, it is, well, it was on the handle when you got in, but when you have a look, if you go into third person, when you're actually looking in, you can tell his hands broken again, and he's not only that, he's standing in the buggy. His head is pushed against the um, the screen at the front, and he's actually standing um, through the seat. Like, you know, Flintstone style, if you remember, you know, like the old, the old Flintstones cars, um, this is what this is this is looking like. Um, so there's one other little thing that's changed. I mean, other than bugs, um, there's one other thing that changed in the Connie that I noticed, which is kind of, which is kind of cool. Um, it's not working as I'm guessing it's intended, but it's it's cool that it's there nonetheless. Um, um, I'm not going to go and show the freelancer, but um, somebody, all of the freelancer, the internal of my freelancer miss, and all of the ramp at the back it's solid black as if there's no textures but um but if you come in here you'll notice these beds um the beds here have got this this like um little window at the front um because basically this these were totally open you'd climb up in the bed and it'd be open but now you've got these like um hatches these things like blinds or something that come down over the front of them which looks really good um and, and they're not obviously working properly because if you open up one of the beds um you climb in through the blind but you can imagine um, when the blinds will work, you know, when it works properly, the blinds will come up, you'll actually climb in and the blind will like come down so you can actually sleep properly. I was surprised to see to see any sort of change like this in these connies because these connies are actually getting for a, re a rework and, you know, we're going to get, um, we will get the new connie models. They're going to be due um, later in the year when multi crew ships come in. So seeing this here was a little bit weird. Um, so let's come out of the hangar, let's go into the actual game. So what I'm going to do is show you around the mole in, in the only way I can, which is to go into free flight. We'll, we'll go into single player free flight first of all. We'll drop ourselves on a platform and we'll get out and walk around it. Um, so you'll notice that the whole 
systems here has changed. So it's electronic access now, and rather than Arena Commander. And when you go into it, you get a little electronic access logo, and you got the two game modes. I mean, Star Marine's not here yet, of course, because it's. But when you get when we get Star Marine, this is how you jump between the two. Um, and you go, you click Arena Commander, and you go into go into it as you would before. Um, we'll go into just Drone Sim. And as I said, this is a whole new lobby system we have than what we had before. And you notice here we got the P-52 Merlin at the top of our list here. So that's all that we have here that's new. Let's go into the P-52 Merlin. Let's jump into um, Free Flight. Okay, so we're inside the Merlin and you can kind of see the HUD there. Um, the HUD in the Merlin is actually in two sections. The first, the top part is actually on the... Um, um, screen and the second part, the lower part, is actually inside the ship itself. Um, Comstab isn't working, so at the moment in this, this game it's a bit broken in this patch. If we check it outside, um, while we're flying here, we can't zoom in and out. You can look at the front. Look at a big railgun at the front, and if we start shooting in a railgun... Listen to the sounds at the rail. So if I find my, if we find ourselves a platform, what we we'll do is we we'll go land on the platform. Um, so this, the top speed of the Merlin is 240 milliseconds or meters per second, I should say. So it's not that it's not. Um, I mean, they said that it was going to be competitive versus a M50 for flight, but. I honestly don't see that if it's only going to be 240 milliseconds it's not really going to be too competitive um, because the m50 is still 280 right um, but it's definitely better than summer and one other thing about this ship oh my god i keep going past i think that's because i'm holding down my tour key let me just go over the platform Okay, so one thing, one other thing you may notice here, um, and I might have to come back here just to to show this off. Is uh, probably is you can you can't really tell coming this way. Maybe look in the other way. Is it over these domes now? Over these landing pads, you've got like a little dome, like a semicircular dome that looks that's that's the same. It's kind of you know like see through, but you can actually you can kind of see it easier when you're outside. I'll try to show it and basically what it does, it forms like a inside that dome when you land there's gravity. I'll try to stop where it's in view so you can actually see what I'm talking about. There, if you if you see it just above this platform as I strafe left and right, the reflection from the light is like a semicircular dome. Um, if you if you can see that, right? Um, and e each one of these platforms have that. And basically, what it seems to do is when you land, is when you're inside that, um, you walk around as if there's gravity. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, so you basically bump up inside it. We'll drop into into landing mode. This is something that I thought was really cool with a ship, if you notice. Um, as you got, drop down and the landing gear deploys, um, you also see the wings um, fold in and out. Let's try it with a different view. This view would be pretty cool to see that. Oh, shit. Got a lap. Ah, damn it. I was so sensitive. 
don't touch the mouse when I switch it, just tap the down the strafe keys. That's it, that's it, go straight. All right, so we look at a different view. You can tell you here as we, as we strafe down a bit, it goes to landing mode deployed and you get the, um, normally the landing gear comes out, but on this ship as well, you see the wings fold up a little bit if you look, ready? Here it comes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I do, I do like this. I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, you can see the bubble here as we're landing. And when you're landed, you can still sh you can still shoot your guns, of course. Um, we can we can see these the Gatling at the front here better if you look here. How far can we zoom into this, or just so we can see the front? Because yeah, so basically, as you can see. This, you have a Gatling at the front of this M50, and you've got two M3As under the wing. None of the guns are, are gimbaled. You can definitely tell that the um, the Gatling is no way you can gimbal that. I mean, it's pop maybe you can actually take the M3As out and put a gimbal and put smaller guns in there. I'm not totally sure, but um, I haven't tried. But if we jump out here, you can see him actually jump out. Off he goes. And you can, when we get in there, if you, if you notice, just as getting out, you see the um, the blank display, and you can see where they actually project the um, the area on the display. See, the reason what I was actually trying to do is I was trying to jump on top of the, the thing here, but you can't. because You can't just jump on top, because inside this um, bubble, you've actually got gravity. If we pop off our boots, there we go. We can actually. We can fly if we take off our grav boots. But one thing I know that when you come back inside this circle, is what I was trying to do. I said I'm to do it this time. I was trying to f jump it, go in, and actually fall on, land on top of the Merlin so that I could um, just see on top of it, see if we can actually open some of the stuff on top of it. But. Oh damn it, damn it. Um your legs move but your top your top torso doesn't move. This may take a while, I'll be back after the transition. That was the closest I got to try to EVA in on top of the ship. Damn it! Okay. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't manage to do it. Every time I try to EVA in a bit, if you're any higher than a ship when you actually enter this little bubble, you fall flat on your face. So we'll have to look ar look around on top of the Merlin properly when it's actually in a hangar. But um let's have a look. we can actually have a walk around it outside here. Um I mean, it is a very sexy looking ship, and you saw the mechanic on the wings. So when this landing gear pops out, um, you get the, the wings fold up as well. Um, it's got P-52 Merlin here. The face of it looks neat. Looking at the face of it like that, it looks like it could potentially... I don't know, I, I just kind of sit there and think, thinking of a shark as I look at it from, from like here, you know, at the front. Um, we got the uh, maneuvering thrusters at the front there. Couple of lights at the front. Um, it does come with some hatches and stuff you can open, like to, to store stuff in. There's a couple. If you look based on the, the work in progress drawings, but they're on, on like top there, and we can actually get to those until we, unless we can get on top of it. So unfortunately, we can't really look at those until we get in it. But what we can do is, what I, what I will do is, I'm going to jump out of here and I'm going to go in. First of all, I'm just going to go into um, um, just drone sim just racing just a single player race and just see how fast this laps around a the track then we'll try, try a little bit of multiplayer i'm not sure as i said earlier on i was having great trouble trying to get into multiplayer games we'll give it a go with a merlin um i just want to see how it performs um but as far as that other than that i mean as far as the patch changes are concerned 
Um, all of the, the time to live on ships has, has been increased. Pretty much, pretty much all ships have had had their health um, increase and whole um, health increased by at least two times. Some of the ships, like the M50 and the Cutlass and the Auroras, have been increased by three times. The Aurora is now a faster ship as well. Um, yeah, the, the Aurora is a faster ship, so no, no. It's no longer um, a terrible ship. Um, basically, they've increased weapon damage um, and missile damage to actually compensate for the increased health and shield armor. They've also changed the way the, um, the chaff is working. And when you actually pop chaff now, you actually drop it out in bursts of four. Um, and they go in a um, an arc, rather than a horizontal arc, rather than just spitting them out. Um, 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 the chaff and the flares are not guaranteed to actually evade anything anymore, whereas before, you could pop a flare as soon as you get the missile warning and you was guaranteed you was going to evade it, with with certain missile types of course, not CS missiles. Um, so, But you can't do it, I mean you actually got to time it a bit better now, um, which is a good thing, right? It means there's no guarant it's, no garan it's not guaranteed that your missiles will miss, but obviously with, with the change in the shields and the extra health everyone has, um, it'll take more missile hits to actually do that sort of damage, right? Um, they've also changed the boost in this patch to balance the boost out so it's not unlimited anymore. Whether or not they've got it so that you can only hold it a certain amount of time um, before a charge, or they did hint at potentially having a um, certain amount of charges per minute. When we jump into a test race, we will give that a test. Although this is a sh isn't a ship we can really test it on because this ship doesn't have um, a regenerating fuel because it doesn't have any scoops. So this probably doesn't have any boost, so we'll give it a try. Um, so let me just jump into a race. Okay, here we are in a race um, on Old Vanderville, this is the first track. Um, you can see here at the start, obviously because when you start a race you're kind of in landing mode, so you see the landing gear underneath, and because the landing gear is underneath we got our wings folded up, so as we start we will um, set those off. So let's go, I'm going to do a lap and just see how, how it performs. I'm not going to take any of my crazy shortcuts I normally do when I'm racing, because um, yeah, we just want to test boost and stuff. Damn, because comms tab's broken, so we can't take off. Oh, at least you can eject. Um, you can't turn off all of the helpers, which is what I like to do. I like to turn off all the helpers when I'm racing. Let's try and leave them everything on, just to see how it goes around. Just go around a, a track very, very leisurely. I said the speed is 240, so. Yeah, I can't, I can't, oh my god. Yeah, with all the helpers on, which we cannot turn off. Um, the ship is really, really going to take some getting used to to fly. I'll, I'll say that much. Checkpoint. Look at the drift. Of course, as you see, the fuel quantity for the boost is, is doesn't regenerate, so you can't just spam on some boost. I mean, breaking is the best way. Checkpoint. Yeah, this would really take some getting used to, I think, to actually fly um, in a race. Checkpoint. Yeah, I use 50% boost going around one lap. Um, I honestly don't. I, 
I gotta gotta give some practice. I mean, next maybe I'm you know tomorrow, maybe Monday when I get some um, do some more streaming of this, we'll actually try some um, time trials with this in racing. Okay, I tried four times um, to get into battle royales and squadron battles um, in the Merlin. I did one squadron battle, one battle royale with each of the map types. And um, each time it just dumped me back out. This is the last time. We'll, this is the last time we'll give it a try. We'll give this one a try. If we fail to get in here, um, what is that? I'll just end up this video and we'll resume it when we get a bit further. Um, um, unfortunately, the scythe is supposed to be added, but from the, as I said a bit earlier, the buddies I know that have one, um, it wasn't spawning for them. It doesn't. They can't put it in their hangar on the website, um, so we can actually see it. I, I do hopefully have an account lined up that I can kind of maybe. Um, borrow to actually because I can do a, a walk around and show the scythe off um, whether it be in a hangar if, it's, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it becomes visible there or on a weapons platform or something or a platform in free flight so you can actually walk around it um, we'll do that once it, it could well be um, when the patch goes live before we do that and also that will probably be when we can actually do a proper walk around of the Merlin actually in um, a hangar unless they actually do some sort of update to the PTU in the next couple of days. They did say they was hoping to get 115 live on the servers before the end of this week, if the patch came out at the weekend. So um, with the bugs and stuff that people are going to be finding in the next couple of days, hopefully on Monday they will hopefully jump in and be able to quickly try to pa patch those up, maybe get another another test patch out to us, um, and hopefully maybe Wednesday or Thursday at the latest, we may get it pushed live if it does get pushed live. Um, so... Thank you guys for watching, and um, I will see you in the next video. Because again, as you see, we just got dropped back out to the hangar. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out. I said the patch notes will be in the in the description. Um, if there's anything specific you do want to see in a future video, um, just let me know. It's really good to be back in a proper Star Citizen video. Um, and just feel free to um, drop a comment or drop a like if you enjoy what you see and um i will see see you over on my twitch channel um